bit scary. Hey guys, for this video I'll be going through some of the mechanics of Bernward Gunther Trista that I did in CVT3 from a Tarpa's perspective. So let's Did you fail? I tied like three to make sure we're fighting the first boss, we leave the raid one by one to have somebody win the rock paper scissors yeah, mini game. The whole raid applies to the person yeah, who won. Me, I'm on it. I won. So, Danny. Let's go. First boss is easy. Let the tank take him to the corner, where you will then start DPS. Come back here. When he turns around, he will shoot a laser. Once you see the line turning up. Touch away from it as the laser is wider than expected. Below 10%, you will randomly target a person in the group and chase him 3 times. If you notice he is after you, make sure to dodge away for 3 turns. It's important that in this phase, you burst him down to zero as fast as you can. Oh my god, that was <laughs> Twin bosses, it's best to have the occultist at the melee boss, because they deal magical damage which is strong against melees. However, an occultist can also help out with taking the purple orbs or dispelling the mage when you have people short for being able to do this. In this run, I will show you how to do a take the purple orb. I do this here with a blade master. This is also possible with the spirit shaper, as long as they don't have main aggro and they have one skill they can take the orb with every second time. It goes like this. The first orb, he takes it with his immune. The second one, he takes it with my nirvana. The third one, his immune is off cooldown, so he takes it again. And the fourth one, I take it myself with nirvana. From here, you repeat to one, so he takes it after that. Cooldown wise, this is always possible, but this requires communication and a little bit of more focus. Can we break it? of multiple events going on, always prioritize the following. First is the mage ghost, second is the healing totem, third is the wolves. If multiple things are going on, keep this order to not make things even messier. Personal preferences is to bring down the mage to 70% and then have all the DPS except the one who's taking the next verb orb kill melee. We then turn to the mage to finish him off.
The last boss first phase is a DPS race. You want to burn down this boss as fast as you can. For starters you kill the catapults, then head out to the boss. Whenever he is about to lift his hammer happily above him, you jump to dodge his knockdown. If you get knocked down by his attack, make sure to CC break immediately so the boss doesn't turn to you. Between 82 and 80% 80 he spawns archers. Keep moving so you don't get slowed down and killed and burst his knockers down. At one point, lasers and sand square appears. Dutch these at all costs. The sand squares give the boss a counter burst and rage attack, and the lasers hit hard. Burst down one or two lasers and advance on to the boss until he dies, ignoring the rest of the spawning mobs. second phase of the boss, it's important you do not get hit by the Mitsugas. A way to avoid getting hit is seeing when he's landing his claws to hit the ground. Jump up and slowly so. do a second jump after that Mitsuga coming soon. And one, two, one, two, one, two. It's gonna charge. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. No time is a valuable thing. Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings. Watch it count down to the end of the day. The clock takes life away. So When the wolves appear, let the healer take the aggro and get it down in the center of the field. Once they jump there, AoE burst them down and continue going on the boss. After the Mitsuba passed, burst down over 5% and get to the Spirit Wolf's face without fearing to get interrupted by the Mitsuba. The Spirit Wolves need to be brought down as fast as you can. Save your buff and your angel for this phase. When you burst down the boss after the Mitsuba below 20%, burst them down all the way to zero and ignore the Spirit Wolves at 10%. This is not always recommended, but it always worked for us. See how our bit fits in your room. Mid middle. Good luck on tackling down Grand Bulwark God Mode, and thanks for watching. If you liked the video, or have any comments, drop me a like below and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Bye!